Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Carly Tenager and I am playing some Fallout 3 and I can't remember where I'm at because I'm dumb like that. Here's this guy, here's this other guy, here's the chickadee, and the quest marker says I go this way. But I can't remember where my controls are. There we go. Uh-oh. 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 Uh, why are they pointing at me? I can't- Oh god, how do I get out of this? Okay. Tab? No. V? v? No. That just makes a jump. Oh, right, right, mouse button. Derp. <laughs> Maybe I should pay attention to what the frickin' screen says. Aki! Oh wait, your brotherhood is stealing his shit. I don't kill you! Did I think he was gonna kill me, but he really, really wasn't gonna I'm kill me? Watching you. Oh. Uh. Sorry, dude. I thought you were gonna kill me, but you really weren't gonna kill me. You're a good guy. <laughs> I thought they were Enclave! Oh, oh dear. <laughs> no, no, I went through a lot of shit to save these guys. I'm not losing any of them now. Look at this guy's face! <laughs> That guy chill as fuck! <laughs> I like this guy. Okay, we didn't lose anyone, right? One, two, three, four. Okay, good. <laughs> like, I'm not losing anybody now, okay? Excuse you. No, no, oh wait, I've hit A for some reason. God, I'm still used to Fallout 4's controls. Like, how does things work? I don't know. They work because reasons. Alright, there's no run button in this game. Ah! Can I take these? Oh, I can't take these. Take. 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 <laughs> Doesn't even look what I'm taking. Ooh, right. Uh, thanks for the ammo, Mr. Brotherhood dude. We're on our way. <laughs> Good thing he happened to be there, am I right? Well, I was at the end. I, so I was going on and on about, oh no, I'm not going to be able to get to the end. I'm going over time. It's right the fuck here. <laughs> this is what I get for not playing this game for freaking years. And yes, this is the honey you want. It's because I have a freaking cup of tea because I never do a let's play if I don't have any tea with me. Because of course. What'd you do, honey bun? Yay, everybody's saved. Hey, look, it's the Brotherhood of Sterl. I am Dr. Madison Lee. I have people with me in need of shelter. You must allow us access at once. I'm sorry, ma'am. Excuse no you. authorized civilians allowed inside the Citadel. You'll have to leave now. Lions! I know you're in there! I know you can hear me! You open So I'm just gonna start spinning right in circles! It's a sentry bot! It's shorter and smaller than the ones in Fallout 4. I'm gonna compare everything to Fallout 4. <laughs> we can't stop now. We need to keep going. Yeah, okay. Um, we're going in here then? Are you just gonna walk slowly? Just, lady, I... I got shit to do! I have to record at least two videos today so I have something to upload tomorrow! Nah? You're just gonna... Just gonna... Oh hey, I leveled up! Yay! I like leveling up. And give it like a second to... Uh, there it goes. Mm. See, I know I need to get each of these up to 40, at least, in order to... Um, be able to get to a hundred with all of like the magazines and all the shite that I can find. So let's go for melee weapons this time. And energy weapons. Yes. Ooh, I can get more stuff. Daddy's girl, gun nut. Eh, I do like gun nut. 
Little Eager. E. Swift Learner. Nah. I already got some Thief. I definitely want Child at Heart. I think I'm gonna go down because it gives me some fun options at later points. That's Iron Fist, Scoundrel, Finder, and Gunslinger. Let's go for Child at Heart. Because I am really a child at heart. Children love me. Don't understand. Okay. Because I'm actually three years old. No, I'm 26. <laughs> to the Citadel Courtyard. Wow, that Damn. quest completion took me all the way almost to level 8. And by that I mean it took me about half, eight way, or to eight way, you. halfway. What can I do for you? Don't talk down to me, Lions. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun. Yes, I've heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? Details. The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more. I don't know. You have to do something. Oh, Madison. And it's as we feared. Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the purifier. The purifier just always makes you think Chronicles of Riddick. It. It's the not purifier. Right. No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. But it is! It can work! Away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Unclave know this? Yeah, they wouldn't have fucking attacked! No, I don't think... I don't know. I, I just don't know what's happening anymore. Oh, Madison, you're gonna end up at the All institute right, in the next game. It'll be okay. <laughs> or about well, the fourth this game. Is James the next game's York, technically New Vegas. Hi. See the resemblance. What? Yes. Is it the giant anime eyes? She knows what we need. Vault Tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help her. Very well. We'll sort this all out. I. I need to rest, lie down, or something. This is just too much. Rothschild should help you, but don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. Which makes the fact that you get her to work with the brother can get her to work with the Brotherhood in four all the worst. She's like, I don't trust them. She ends up, she ends up fixing Liberty Prime twice. <laughs> Hail. Hey, it's an alliance. You just managed to get yourself into all sorts of trouble, don't you? Yep. Welcome to the Citadel. Not many civilians get to see the place. Mmm. Find a brother to holotype. What should I do with it? Talk to Scribe Jameson. She is our keeper of the scrolls. She will want to know what you have found. Mmm, we're gonna find Scribe Jameson. She spends most of her time in the archives. You'll find them in A Ring, near the Great Hall. Um. Guess I'm this is a little train me to wear power armor? Paladin Gunny instructs all initiates in the use of power armor, but only after they've undergone a rigorous training regimen. Good to know. Considering all that's happened, my father may grant you special permission. But you'll need to ask him yourself. So I need to get them to like me. Um. Bye. Stay strong. You have my condolences. Your father was a good man. You have a wrinkly face, and your beard looks like tumbleweeds. Cause of old textures. This game is old. Okay. Uh, what do you know about the Enclave? More than anyone else, I dare say. Certainly enough to know they're the greatest threat the capital wasteland has ever faced. Eh, yeah, typical politician. The <laughs> has encountered the Enclave before, you see. Over 30 years ago, back in California. Then they were led by a President Richardson. Now we've got this Eden to contend with. It matters not now, Gross. as before they seek to control and destroy. All in the guise of restoring order. Your father, I fear. Sounds like a miracle, all right? Yes, this is a growler. No, it does not have alcohol in it. It's water. It had lemonade, but figured might as well reuse it. Um, uh, you grant me permission. Hmm. Considering the circumstances, I think it yes. would be prudent if you received such training. Yes. Speak to Gunny in the Bailey. He will train you in the proper use of power armor. Fear not, I will send word that I have given my approval. Yes! I can throw power armor! Bailey, I will send word that I have given my approval. Excellent. 
Um. Bye. Steel be with you. Here. Am I just following Madison? No? Okay, bye bye. Apparently, we're not talking to lions. For some reason, I thought I had to talk to elder lions. This is not Elder Maxson! <laughs> uh, oh, right. Rothschild. Um, Galaxy News Radio, Aiding the Outcasts. Wait, I have to go find Bailey. Where's Bailey? I don't know. I'm gonna go find Bailey. He he's gonna be around her somewhere. What the fuck is this? This. What kind of dummy is that? You guys need to up your g dummy game, dude. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I- What? Are you shooting through me? Oh hey, he'll only shoot if I'm not there! That's awesome! Oh no! No! Radios! Must stay away from the radios! Radios are evil! Cause the- What? Does he do with cola bottles, dudes? Seriously. Gotta stay away from the radio because the radio plays copyrighted music. I think I found the lady. Ordeal has spread. But I need to talk to you to learn how to do power armor. The loss of your father. I want it. But if I can help you in any way, please let me know. Like, like, is is it you that I have to talk to? Yes. Paladin Gunny. Oh, it's Paladin Gunny. That's who it was. Okay, I saw him before. So goodbye. For some reason, I thought it was Scribe Jameson. You honor us with your presence here. Don't know why I thought that. Okay, you're Knight Artemis. You're an initiate. Steel Gunny. Initiate, you've got a lot of nerve to interrupt. Oh, my apologies, stranger. Excuse you. I thought you were one of these worthless Excuse initiates. Excuse you. I swear these kids would be lost no without me here to powder their asses. Tell that to the five billion suits of power armor I have in the fourth game. Heard you were coming. Yeah, I can train you, but don't ask me to like it. Mm -hmm. My initiates sweat blood, and you just get a free pass? Yep. Anyway, you ready for this? Yeah. So, now look, to wear power armor, first thing you need to do is relax your muscles. Let the suit do the work, okay? Now okay. You. What do you well, do I not- can I not wear power armor? Yee. Yeah. You've received specialized training in to move in any form of power armor. What aid can I offer you, outsider? Awesome. Okay, bye-bye! If you'll excuse me. <laughs> Down. And that means I don't have to wear these rags anymore. Yay! Oh, yeah, I want to go. We gotta get into a nice place for the. No, yeah, yes, yes. Very well. Thank you for the Yes. Right here. Okay. Because if you all remember, I should have some power armor already. Hey, I have an enclave power armor. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, I thought I had. I thought I had Brotherhood armor too. Did they take my Brotherhood armor away? Rude. Oh well. Guess I'm ripping the Enclave for a minute. <laughs> can I repair? Oh, I can repair. Cool. I'm wearing Enclave power armor. This is this is disconcerting to my brain. Uh. Yeah. I'm wearing Enclave Power Armor. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'd rather be wearing Brotherhood Power Armor, to be honest. Why don't I have a helmet on? Well... I mean, I guess... Sure. You honor us with your presence here. You honor us with your presence here as I walk around in freaking enclave power armor because I don't have any brotherhood armor, even though I swear I have brotherhood armor. Oh wait, it's probably my house in Megaton. Right. Precisely so I tried. I, with you about. I thought What's I had this brotherhood armor, but I don't. Actually increasing. Hey, is look at this! Hey, it's the ya boy. A slight modification to Liberty one Prime. Y'all remember him from Fallout 4. Don't worry, I'm on it. Even though we Most didn't get to see him, you know, we only got to see him get blown up and stuff. But this old man's patience is wearing thin. I want a full Jesus, lines. You could at least hours. like face all the guy right, when you talk right. to him. I'll see what I can. Rude. Do. May I start by saying that I am sorry for your loss. I was acquainted with your father many years ago. 
The world the shadows are creepy on his face. Remaining visionaries. Uh, how did you know, Papa? I have been a part of the Brotherhood for many years. You can tell from your gray Enough and white that hair. I was here when Project Purity first began. I did not work directly with your father. He and his team valued their independence, and I respected that. Uh, thanks for your sympathy. Think nothing of it. Even now, though you have a slightly Dr. creepy voice. He has explained or at your least predicament. your tone. You need to locate some Vault-Tec equipment. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, I need to find a Gek. Are you quite sure? I suspect that would be a waste of time. Regardless, nope. the Brotherhood is not in possession Apparently of Apparently my dad knew device. how to use it. <laughs> there is, however, a way in which we may be able to ascertain the location of one. I'm um, running short on time here. Let's cut the chase. Yes, well... I'm afraid that with the emergence of the Enclave, the Brotherhood is rather busy right now. Thanks. You're going to send me to go get aren't you? I to take time from my responsibilities to assist you. Perhaps I was in error. Oh, shut up! Nonetheless, we may have what you seek. In the archives upstairs is an old pre-war Vault-Tec terminal. I will send word that you need access Why to Why would it. that be here? <laughs> uh, thanks for the help. You are welcome. If you require further assistance, I may be able to help. Okay, bye bye. You honor us with your presence here. Why do they keep saying that to me? It's kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. So they're working on Liberty Prime, which looks smaller than it does in Fallout 4. Weird. Did we go on the missile? No. Yes? Hey. Maybe. I don't know where I'm going. The Brotherhood is at your service. Yeah. Okay. Whatever, dude. You honor us with your presence. Jesus. Can they have more lines? Or do they just get to have I'm not going the wrong way. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. I'm definitely going the wrong way. Oh, sit down, and that's- I can't go that way because I'm more power and I'm bigger than normal. Oh, that was a door. I went past the door. Door. Derp! Is it in here? No. Is it in here? Nope. Is it... Okay, the game tells me it's over here, and there's a door. <sighs> I'm lost, aren't I? <laughs> there we go, I found it. <laughs> yeah. It was by this lady. And the lady that I thought was the person I needed Welcome. to talk to, but wasn't the lady I needed to talk to. Vault Tech Terminal. A, uh, DC area vault listings. Hey, hey, hey! Anybody who knows Bethesda news lately knows why that's important. Let's read it. Is equipment issuances. Vault number 76. Vault 76. Even though that's supposed to be in Virginia. Or is it West Virginia? I can't remember. I think it's West Virginia. Start construction date. February 2065. End construction date. 20, uh, 2069. Number of occupants 500. Duration 240 months. Compt Computer control system, brain power four, primary power supply, light life geothermal, secondary power supply, general atomic nuclear power. Non-standard equipment, none. Personnel assignments. Vault 76 was one of our 17 control vaults. It will operate exactly according to the plan dictated in the marketing material produced by vault Tech and precisely to residents' expectations. This vault will open automatically after a period of 20 years, and the residents will be pushed back into the open world for study in comparison to the other experiments. Project goals, access restricted, of course. Fallout like had no goals, let's be honest here. They're just fucking with people. So yeah, Fallout 76 comes out in November, and you'll bet your ass I will be playing it. I clicked on it again, oops. Is it this one? It would be under equipment issuances. A GEC! There we go, that's what I need. Four stasis chambers, three plasma containment fields, one GEC, and six food processing stations. Okay. Of course the files are corrupted. <laughs> uh, number of documents redacted, duration redacted. <laughs> of course. Of course. Project goals, access, of course. Because we can't have nice things. How about this one? You know what? Nah. We just reread the only two that we gave a shit about. So we go bye bye now. 
So yeah, we have to go check out this Vault 87. We can't check out Vault 76, sadly, because that is not in this game. Though, we do know that it's been opened by the time of this game, because apparently Fallout 76 takes place about 25 years after the apocalypse. And I went the wrong way. Um, 25 years after the apocalypse and the balls fall, the and I'm tired. <laughs> Even though it says that Vault 76 isn't supposed to open until 20 years after, but we know from the trailer or the talks, I think, I can't remember which, that it actually opened 25 years after. Five years after it was supposed to for some reason. Yeah. I'm talking about Fallout 76 in my Fallout 3 video. What to do? Okay, I have to go into a place. Wait, what? Oh, do I have to go back to Rothschild? I probably do. Gosh darn it. What is he doing? Seriously? They beat each other until there's giant pools of blood on the ground and then don't clean up the pools of blood? Like, one, unsanitary. Two, bloodborne illness goes with unsanitary. Three, if you're beating each other until there's big old pools of blood on the floor, you've done goofed up in your training regimen because that can lead to permanent injury. Hello, dude. Did you have any success with that old terminal? Yes. Um. Ah, well, that much I believe I can help with. Step over here for a oh, moment. Yeah. I'll show you where it is. Um, is it underneath the citadel? <laughs> Step over here. Yeah, don't tell me how I can access the thing to find. Oh, right, the map. Ah, uh, the map of the capital wasteland. Dun, da, da, da. With the fancy thingy-mabob that's going around the fancy thingy-mabobness. This map shows the locations of all known vaults in the local area. Vault 87 has been highlighted. Wait a minute. There. So all known vaults Entrance local vault area, right? Vault 87 will be particularly difficult for you, I'm afraid. Uh, what's difficult about it? The area is highly irregular. Of course it is. Lethal <laughs> levels are all around the entrance. Gaining direct access will be quite impossible. Uh, how do I get through the radiation? Quite simply, you don't. To attempt such a thing would be certain death for you. There's probably a way! You share your father's determination, it seems. And in this case, you are correct. There may well be another way. Vault 87 is located very close to the site of Lamplight Cabin. It's a good thing I got the child at heart, because y'all know what's in Lamplight. From within the caves. Well, it's time to find out. I'll go there myself. The Brotherhood simply cannot spare the resources of course not. It's not like they can be used. The area. Perhaps you may be more successful. If you do find anything, please return here so that we may decide how best to proceed. Yeah, okay, Duder. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I wish we could do more, but the Brotherhood potentially faces a very pressing, very real threat in the Enclave. Yeah, but All they also control an extremely powerful thing of technology. I'm sure you understand. Aren't you, like, super into acquiring technology and hoarding it? You guys say safeguarding the technology, but they're hoarding technology and not doing anything with it. You guys can see that I am at odds with most Brotherhood philosophy. There's a lot of things about the Brotherhood I really, really like. But the fact that they, by and large, just take technology, hoard it, and then don't really use it except to take technology from other people, an issue with that part. Which is why I like this Brotherhood, and I don't like the one in New Vegas, and I don't like the one in Fallout 4. Though I am going to have a Brotherhood character, so follow me on Twitch if you want to see that playthrough. I mean, Fallout fall 4 Brotherhood character, which you know. Uh, the closest one actually to get there is this Casey garage. So you have to go to another vault, because this was a vault that my dad do was at. And hopefully I don't die. Um. Okay. Oh wait, those brotherhood outcasts? Well, at least they're not gonna kill me. I hope. You guys are good guys, right? Yep, they're good guys. Cool. Can I kill you and steal your armor? Oh. Well. Oh. Balls. I take everything! Uh, no. 
Oh, he doesn't have a gun because he's a robot. <laughs> so of course he doesn't have a gun. Is this supposed to be an on? Yeah, it's got U.S. stuff. Is this supposed to be an enclave? Ooh, a stealth boy. <gasps> Ooh. Yes, please. Even though I already have one. Oh wait, my I think mine's a laser pistol. Oh yeah, nothing in there. Is that better than my laser pistol? Uh, whew. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. I have a lot of oh, I have a lot of weapons. Now I'm using a laser rifle. Durr. So I realized I'm a complete idiot. So this power armor helmet, power it's right here. This is my brotherhood armor. So I think it's enclave armor, even though it's technically better. Uh, actually, and it's not. This one gives me two strength. That does minus two agility. Has less rad resist, but it's also enclavey. Yeah, it gives me minus to charisma. We can't have that shit. But what if I use Enclave Armor, but a Brotherhood of Steel Power Hel or Helmet? I can accept this for now. Okay, now I'm to go up this way. For an age and a half. Hello, Mr. Outcast dudes! I really like your armor. Okay, you know what? I can't. I can't. Nope. I don't like wearing the uh, armor of the bad guys. I'm repping the Brotherhood because this is the good Brotherhood. Well, these guys aren't the good Brotherhood. Well, they're not the bad Brotherhood either. They're just the outcasts. Which is funny because in this game I thought that the Lion's Brotherhood were the outcasts and these guys were the traditional Brotherhood. But it calls them the outcasts and the Lion's the regular Brotherhood even though we know that's not true. I'm thinking circles around- what the f- What? Do you need help, my brotherhood brethren? No? There's definitely a guy in that house. No, you good? Okay. And never mind, apparently they don't need my help. Fine. Be that way, Mr. Brotherhood man. I'm gonna walk all the way here myself without sprinting because... I can't sprint. Me alone. I killed the thing. Oh, hey! More rat meat. More rat meat. Hey, energy cells. I needed those. What's this? Sewer entrance to drainage chamber. Eh? No, I'm good. I mean, that's probably something I needed to look at, but... What? Oh shit, hi, how you doing? Yeah, you're dead now. <laughs> I feel like there's something missing with the Brotherhood of Steel Armor when there's no gloves for it. You'd think, like, you're so bulked up with armor and steel and all kinds of fun armory accoutrements. What? They could hit your fingers. They could hit your hand very easily. And that is how you lose your fingers. And if you don't have your fingers, you can't shoot your laser pistol. Laser rifle. This not very easily. And that seems like a recipe for disaster. To be honest. Oh! <gasps> What's that over here? No, you stay off of them. They didn't do nothing to you. You leave them alone. Oh. No, no, no. You leave my dudes alone, dude. Leave them alone, duder. Oh, my nose is itchy. Okay. Leave the Brahmin alone! What did the Brahmin ever do to you, Mr. Centaur? Yeah, that's what I thought. You have too many arms. I don't approve of your arms. Where's the Brahmin? Hello, Mr. Brahmin man. I'm sorry that they were jerks to you. I won't even make you into a st- Aw, you so cute! Aww. She, she is so cute. Why are all the Brahmin you see in the game she's? Still cute, even though they're trying to eat a rock right now. There's totally no vegetation, dude. You need to go over there. No? Okay, bye bye Your utter is a giant tumor, isn't it? 
gross. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Why does a centaur have medics on it? I don't know. Sorry I couldn't save your friends. Holy bejeebs. Don't mind me, I'm just, uh, <laughs> looting your cor the corpses of your friends. Uh, hey, you're okay with that though, right? <laughs> I think that's where I gotta go. Little lamp light. Cutesy little cavern of cutesiness. Where nothing bad can possibly happen. Oh, well, hopefully nothing bad happens. Oh, that looked like something for a second. I was gonna say, wait a minute! <laughs> nope, can't go in there. You have discovered little lamplights, and we're gonna see somebody who's gonna be a right old friend. In Fallout 4. They're, they're less friendly. Okay, these are so cool. I, I love the aesthetic of the little lamplight caverns. I love the aesthetic of this game in general, but I particularly love the little lamplight caverns, because I just love the strings of lights. Sup, dude? Hold it right there, lady. Don't take another step, or we'll blow your fucking head off. Excuse you, McCready, and also, yes, this is McCready from Fallout 4 as a child. Is he wearing a scarf on his head or something? Like a, like a sweater? You're big, and I don't have any big friends. You better just go out the way you came in. Excuse you. I really need to get to Bald Summon. Do you know the way? You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty no, good at No, no, I want to go there. Probably better than you could do. So you know the way to get there? Yeah, I do. But it's through Little Lamplight, and you're not getting into Little Lamplight. Guess you better find some other way, Mungo. No, no, I'm going in there. Allowed. Excuse you, McCready. I just got a perk today that tells me you're gonna let me in. You know what? Your face looks like my butt. Oh yeah? You must like having such a good-looking butt. I bet you like the look at butts, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you're all right for a mungo. Hey. Uh, why don't you come in? I think we can trust you. <laughs> I, I didn't actually do that on purpose. I forgot the little lamplight was right after um, the Citadel. Sorry, I missed your party. Yeah, me too. Sorry. There is There's children. Happy about it. This is the worst day of my life. Everywhere. It's time to go. You know the rules. That child has a gun. The rules are stupid. You're a mungo now. You gotta leave. Maybe I can stay just a little longer. Bye, Sticky. Yeah. Bye, Sticky. Hey. Don't just stand there. Hey, get out of here up? already. Cool junk and collecting. Hi. Wow. What luck. I'm Sticky. Forget these little kids. I'll take you to Big Town where the Mungos, I mean, where the grown ups live. I'm headed there now. Uh, where the grown ups live? Big Town. You've never heard of it? It's where all the grown ups go. Well, at least when they grow up and out of Little Lamplight. I can show you the way. There's no reason to waste your time with a bunch of snot-nosed kids. Let's go now. Uh... First I need to visit Little Lamplight. I'm not allowed in Little Lamplight anymore. Only people under 18 get to live in Little Lamplight. So when you're done with those little kids, we can go to Big Town together. I'll wait outside for you. Hey, okay, nerd. All right, then. See ya. Uh, uh, don't die, I guess? Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> I guess I'm going this way. So yeah, Little Lamplight is a town of children. Only children are allowed in, and once you become an adult, they take your happy butt out. Which seems kind of rude if you think about it. And also, how do they keep getting children then? I mean, that's probably explained when you go when you go with the sticky guy to Big Town, but it's not a main storyline quest, so that's gonna be something that I live stream. Which means you should go follow me on Twitch because I'm not allowed to actually post when I'm streaming on Twitch, even though I stream multiple times a week. So if you want to know when I'm streaming, you need to follow me on Twitch. Because if you don't follow me on Twitch, you'll never know when I'm streaming because I'm not allowed to tell people that I'm streaming on YouTube anymore because YouTube is YouTube. Yeah. Okay, so I have to get out here. Um, 
I feel like there's a button I'm missing. I, uh... I feel like there's a button I'm missing. Use this now. It's right there. It's literally right there. I could jump over this. <laughs> okay. 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 Enter Vault 87. Can't, can't, no, no, I can't, apparently I can't jump over that. Well, here's something I don't see every day. Sup, nerd? A new face and little lamp Just light. walking around well, talking to people because I can't get through you the thing. Right. What's your story down here? Um, uh, created the man, I don't want to cause any problems. I'm Joseph, and around here, I might as well be the old wise man. How Try old are you? My <laughs> and I think we'll get along just fine. As the oldest kid in town, I spent most of my time teaching. But I do what I can to keep the kids clean and fresh-faced. If you're looking for a haircut, feel free to ask. I'll do what I can. Um, I really need to get involved in something. Do you know the way? We don't go there. It's bad back there. Ask Mayor if you really want to know. Oh, bollocks. I should have talked to McCready, shouldn't I? Damn it! Okay, I'm gonna go find McCready then. Darn it! I thought I was done with that man after Fallout 4. Hey, new kid. Hey! I don't know if anyone told you yet, but let me set the record straight. I'm Princess. When you're around me, I'm in charge. You shut up and do what I say, because I'm boss around here. That clear? Uh, now, no. Do you know who McCready is? Ah, you should give me orders. Oh, that's cute, little princess. Oh, you'll listen to me. No, I won't. Otherwise, I'll have my good pal RJ kick you out of the town. Or better yet, lock you in the vault. So don't push me, new me. Just nod and move on, and I I'm think like we'll get four along times your size, child, and I'm in power armor. It's so dull. Practically nothing ever tries to come through the back gate anymore, so I never get to shoot anyone. I wish I was at the front gate, but RJ specifically put me back here. Up front, at least there's a chance I can shoot some unwanted visitors. Which well, that's not very nice. You, Mungo. Well, I'm awesome, so. <laughs> oh, really? That's a cute little imagination. There's so got. much bloom on her face but if right you now. Play make believe. Maybe you should do it with the younger brats. Uh, can you give me directions? No. Wow. You're a jerk. Well, thank goodness. You call me a jerk? You're a jerk. I'll shoot you in the face, but you can't kill kids in this game. <laughs> you can in Skyrim. No, I'm serious. So in the game of Skyrim, there is no. You can't kill the, the children. But Bethesda knew that, that was going to be one of the first things that people modded into the game. So what did they do? Yeah, they included sounds and death animations for children because they knew one of the first things modders would do was mod killing the children. Mod in killing the children. Watch it. That's something I agree with, but this is the way it is. Bathrooms. That's it's a still the normal. I've been looking for McCready for fucking ages. Damn it, McCready! I'm going to load up Fallout 4 so I can nuke your butt. I'm gonna nuke your butt in the future. How's that make you feel, McCready? Are you gonna have a cry about it? Watch it. They're like, watch it. No. No. Now screw you. Where the hell did McCready go? Ah! Oh my god, please tell me that's McCready because I've been looking for this child for ages! Look, I don't just let any get into my town and I'm taking a risk. Excuse you, but there's no cause for that language, so McCready. You're not going to my town. I'm gonna nuke him until you start screwing up. I'm gonna Once nuke that him. that bullshit starts, you're out on your own again. 
Or I can just, you know, off all of you guys, except the game won't let me. Uh, I'm not planning to start any trouble. Good. Better stay that way, Mungo. I think I have the term Mungo. Or give me directions. What do I look like? Your tour guide? Yes. I'm McCready. I run Little Lamplight because they made me the mayor. And I don't like strangers or Mungos. Uh, how do you keep this place organized? Organized? Have you walked around this place? It's pure anarchy. I wouldn't have it any other fucking way. We can't all stay okay. here forever, so we've got to leave eventually. And there's not much to look forward to out there. So we have a good time while we're here. And the occasional ruthless little bastard like me makes sure it doesn't fall apart for the other kids. So, funny story. He reminds me of my best friend. M. Odin's mother cannot swear. Not that she physically cannot swear, it's that whenever she does swear because she has a higher pitched tone of voice like the children here, it makes it sound like a child swearing, and child swearing are hilarious. Because they're just, it sounds weird and they're bad at it. <laughs> I love you, Em. Please, please don't yell at me. You still can't swear very well. It sounds like a kid, and it makes me laugh. Um, everyone has to leave eventually? People change when they grow up, and we don't trust Mungo's living down here. So we leave for a place called Big Town before we get too old. At least that's the line Joseph teaches. But really, we simply don't have enough space or food for everyone to stay here forever. So, I've got to exile some to avoid ruining the whole town. It's a fucking hard, brutal choice to make, but that's the way we stay alive. But then how do you get new children in? <laughs> it's not that complex. Any kid can say they want to be mayor here. It's just that most don't want to bother with the responsibility of leading. Most of the time, they last until the kids get tired of them. Then they get kicked out on their ass by the new mayor. One only lasted five minutes. That's not very long. Of course, I've kept this place going strong for three years. To most kids, that makes me mayor for fucking life. Fine by me, I say. You're still bad at swearing, kid. It makes me giggle. <laughs> I really need to get to Vault 87. You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. I don't give a shit. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Okay, you already told me that. So you know how to get in there? Yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. That's the only way? It's the only way that works, yeah. Uh, the other door hasn't worked explain? Since before I was here. I can't find that Joseph kid again. Not Damn even it. Joseph can make it work. Oh, uh, where can I find Joseph? I'm the mayor, not a babysitter, Mungo. Beats me. God damn it. Maybe he's back there by the door. Fuck if I know. You're zero help. You sure about that? It's scary in there. Even I don't like going in there, and I'm really brave. Yeah, are, are you McCready? Are, are you McCready? Tell that to uh, okay. fall out for <clears throat> You say so. Come on, let's get the gate open for you, Mungo. Nah, I think I'm gonna go find this Joseph guy. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna have to go through this murder pass place. So I'ma go I'ma go see Joseph. Cause I'm gonna go find that kid again. Eve oh god, I'm gonna have to cook. This is my life now. Trying to find children, that's a dog. That's not a kid. Got to find a child so I can get to Vault 87. Doobity doop boop boop. Well, that was it easier. It's safer knowing you're around. It, it does? But don't you guys not like the thing with the stuff? Nuh-uh. Door works fine. Computer's broke. Well, maybe not broke, but it sure don't work right. I turned it off because it was just wasting power. You should turn it back on. Nope. Nobody I can hack it. it down. Maybe. And then one day, somebody forgot. You know how it goes. You turn the computer back on? Sure, if you want. Come on, it's over here. Well, that was simple. Oh, hey! Oh, it's back, uh, lady. Watch it. That kid's a beast! He just beasted those steel drums. <laughs> Didn't even move them, just went bail. Okay, kid. Can you get me into Vault 87? Care to talk? What? 
what's my science skill? How far away am I? God damn it, I need eight more. And I don't think I have enough stuff for that. Do I? Nope. No, I do not. Unless, do I have anything that can up my intelligence? Because I think that's what affects that. Ooh. That works. Yes, I just used drugs in the game. What else? Wait, I thought science did that. I thought it was science. Is that not science? Balls. Well, can't get in there yet, and I, so I can either go through here or do murder pass, and who knows, maybe if I live stream tomorrow I'll have leveled up because I'm going to go do side quests. So we'll decide next time. Put in the comments below which one you guys want me to do. I might not see it before I record the next one because who knows the next time we're going to play this, but my name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Fallout 3. In the next one, we're going to be going to Vault 87. I'll see you in the next video.